Hey guys, real quick before we get into the video, just feel free to pause the video and read through any of these posts from other real life people that are suffering from this disease. Uh, actually over 3 million people a year suffer from this disease in the United States alone. So I'm just here to spread some awareness and give a take on my journey. Hi guys, my name is Josh, I'm 24 years old, and I've been suffering with chronic digestive issues for over the past two years. More specifically, uh, chronic GERD, LPR, and chronic gastritis. It was so terrible to the point I could only really eat things like chicken noodle soup and ham and roast beef and stuff like that and if I ate anything else I wouldn't be able to breathe I'd have severe nausea chest pain heartburn terrible gas and bloating non-stop burping all day long and just the feeling of stomach acid coming up my throat and melting my teeth and really wasn't great and so I had a hard time eating and digesting really anything and my doctors prescribed me proton pump inhibitors which is a medicine to decrease the acid in your stomach and it worked it did its job but it made it even harder than it already was to digest or eat anything. And so I suffered countless sleepless nights as laying down any lower than a 45 degree angle would literally cause me to choke. Like I'd wake up in the middle of the night choking on stomach acid and it would just make me feel super sick and I couldn't get any sleep for most days and so I had to stop working out I quit my job and I had to stay almost bedridden for months until I got better enough to just be able to drive myself to the store you know and get some groceries without feeling the urge to vomit all the time and yeah I just got to a point where out of sheer desperation and lots of research and stuff I I looked it up and saw these benefits on the carnivore diet so I thought I would try it one day you know like I was so desperate I was in and out of the doctor, multiple emergency room visits, and I just, I had enough. So, out of sheer desperation, I decided to try this diet. And after the first month, the first month was an eye-opener for me. I wasn't suffering anymore. I was able to eat food again. Uh, I stayed away from eating too much meat because I was told it was bad for you but in the end it was really the only thing I could actually eat without feeling sick and after just around two months on the carnivore diet my symptoms decreased around 90 or so percent I was so happy to have my life back again Weeks and weeks went by, and I was able to start lifting weights again. Before carnivore, I couldn't really lift weights at all. Just bending over would make me so sick and feel like I was going to vomit. And uh, after two months of carnivore, I was able to start working out again and actually lift weights. And I went back to work. I started going out more, started hanging out with friends, spending time with the family, 
and I started taking my life back one step at a time. My life had been saved and it's just it was just two months on the diet. Years and years of suffering cured in just two months. And since then, I've been carnivore for a total of about eight months now. Well, eight plus two, so that's ten. Ten months of eating this way. And I just... I thank God every day. And I thank the beautiful people in this community that have shared their knowledge and to the doctors and nutritionists that have helped me indirectly every step of the way. Also, most importantly, my grandmother and my girlfriend, who took care of me most of the time when I was sick. <laughs> my brain was literally a sponge these past 10 months, and I'm still continuing to learn so much about this lifestyle and way of eating. I can definitively say I found the way to heal my chronic GERD and gastritis, along with getting rid of all the brain fog, the acne, depression, anxiety, the panic attacks, and having no energy. Cured it all with this diet, guys. So, in this video, I want to go in depth, more in depth on my journey as I struggled with multiple chronic health conditions. So, stay tuned. <clears throat> hey guys, first day back at the gym. My GERD is feeling a little bit better. So, it's been about a month since my flare up. And I'm going to see if uh, I can actually start lifting again. Start putting up some weight. So, wish me luck. And I'm going to get started. Chest and back. Hey guys, Josh here. So, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I started a carnivore diet about a month ago, and I didn't want to say anything until I kind of weaned onto it, because the first few weeks you need to get used to the diet, and so, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update and tell you that this diet is healing my stomach and making my disease go away, and I'm even starting to gain muscle back, and overall, my energy and everything just feels great. So I'm basically only eating like meat, salt, water, anything from an animal like like lard, tallow, cooking oils like that. And uh, yeah, so far it's been going pretty good. And I'm going to keep going with it and see how my body reacts. And I'll give you guys an update later. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Hey guys, Josh here. So, I just want to give a little update. So, if you guys have been watching my updates, you know that I've been suffering with uh, chronic digestive issues. And uh, the way I overcame it was I decided to try a carnivore diet one day. And here I am three months later. My digestive issues have almost completely disappeared and also I have uh, I had this skin issue that's been with me my entire life and uh, it's completely disappearing before my eyes you guys the carnivore diet is so amazing I'm able to lift weights I'm able to overcome my chronic illnesses I'm able to heal the carnivore diet is amazing, guys. So, if there's anything I can give you from this update, it's the fact that I'm able to lift weights and push myself again in the gym. Uh, before, I was not able to. I, I, I would maybe go in the gym and lift very light weight. And uh, now I'm able to go heavy, push myself, and uh, develop my musculature and just become a better person and push myself and do what I want to do with my life. So, 
try the carnivore diet, guys. It's great. Trust me. <laughs> um, there is a phase where you have to get used to it. Just like, um, it's just like carb withdrawals and sugar withdrawals and stuff. But I really believe that meat is the healthiest thing you can eat now. I, 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 I did not believe any of this until I started this diet. And uh, thank God for the greatest thing on this planet, which is animals, the most nutrient-dense foods that we can eat. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for staying tuned and uh, keep on the lookout for more videos and probably some workout footage. So yeah, see you guys later. Hey guys, Josh here. So I've been on the carnivore diet for about four months now. Next year it's going to be five. And oh my god, the amount of healing that I've experienced is more than I've ever experienced in my entire life. This diet completely destroyed my two chronic illnesses. I had, I was suffering from GERD, LPR, and chronic gastritis so bad that I lost all my muscle, all my weight. I was 160 and I dropped all the way down to 118 pounds. I looked like a scrawny noodle. I was unhealthy and I was just, my life was terrible. The carnivore diet completely saved my life. I'm able to work out, I'm able to eat food. I was never, I was not able to eat anything. I was surviving off chicken noodle soup and just little like oatmeal and like small things like that. I was, I was not living a good life. And now for four months straight, all I've been eating is beef, steak, eggs, butter, fish, chicken, pork, sausage, bacon, animal products. That's it. And I've experienced the most energy I've ever felt in my entire life. I'm doing so good in the gym. I'm progressing. I'm getting stronger. I have so much energy. I don't have brain fog anymore. I can think clearly, a lot more clearly, clearly than I used to, especially in school. And my life. <clears throat> hey guys, Josh here. So five months. My my five month update on the carnivore diet. I am like 99% back to normal. Uh, sometimes I cheat and I'll have sh a little bit of sugar, like a cookie or something, especially for Christmas and New Year's, but overall, my health, my well-being, it's all improved. Um, when I do mess up and cheat, I'm still okay, but if I take it past that and I keep cheating day after day after day, uh, I can feel my my GERD and my LPR come back, but for the most part, I've been sticking strictly to the carnivore diet, and my health and my well-being has improved so much that uh, I'm just amazed. Um, like I've told you guys before, it was so bad that I was living off of chicken noodle soup, and like deli meat, like ham and uh, ham and uh, roast beef and stuff like that. I was not doing good. I was living off just a few foods and um, I tried so hard after that to be healthy. I tried uh, switching my diet. I tried eating salads. I tried eating oatmeal, protein shakes, all with clean ingredients well, clean ingredients. Uh, they're all pumped full of seed oils and different kinds of sugars and vegetables. And even when I was eating all those salads and all, all that healthy stuff that I thought was healthy, my gas was so bad, my GERD would not go away. I was just, yeah, I would get a little bit better but it just wouldn't go away and I would just be constantly suffering every single day. And especially 
after eating salads, like, oh my god, I would get so bloated and I would feel just terrible. Once I completely cut out the vegetables and the oatmeal and the protein shakes, uh, my health just improved. And it really goes to show you that meat really is like the healthiest thing you can eat because one, nobody can be allergic to meat. Two, it doesn't cause any gas, any bloating. And it's just like, it's just logic. Like, it's the perfect thing for humans to eat animal foods and animal meats and stuff like that. So, I'll just give you guys a little testimony of that. To my experience, um, once I cut out all the vegetables and everything, and I just started eating meat and stuff, sticking to the carnivore diet, my health drastically improved and my life has been changed and my life has been saved and uh, I encourage anybody no matter what no matter who you are no matter what chronic illness you have even if you're healthy I think this diet is for everyone and I think humans should be eating around 95% of their diet for meat well, 70 to 95 percent, from what I've heard. So, i just give you guys my little update, five months. Uh, Happy New Year's, by the way. Um, for your New Year's re resolution, try focusing on your health. Give the carnivore diet a try. Peace out. Hey guys, Josh here, so. If you just saw my updates, that's basically my whole journey. Um, I'm currently at around almost nine months on the carnivore diet. And my sickness is pretty much completely gone. As long as I stick to the diet, you know. It's crazy. This journey of healing and learning so many things that I never knew before. Redefining what I thought was healthy and making a few mistakes along the way and, and just wow, crazy, crazy stuff. The reason why the carnivore diet works so much is because when you're cutting out the vegetables, you're cutting out all these anti-nutrients all these lectins, these oxalates, all these things that are so bad for human health and that some people are actually allergic to, a lot of people. And I, I don't know if I was, but all I know is when I cut out the vegetables, I stopped getting bloated and I stopped feeling like crap and I could actually digest my food when I was just eating meat. And, uh, yeah, three chronic illnesses have completely disappeared. And it's crazy. Meat is so healthy for you guys. I'm probably going to continue to do this for the rest of my life. Until I learn if there's anything better. But this really seems like the way to go. Eat some more meat, stay as healthy as you can, keep working out. Man, my life has been completely changed and saved. I would have been suffering right now. And to just realize that I can go to the gym, I can work out, I can lift weights. I can go to work again, I can live my life. I couldn't even bend over without feeling nauseous, like... My GERD was so bad. I couldn't breathe at times. I couldn't eat anything at all, except for chicken noodle soup and stuff. And... I'm 
just so thankful that I took a step back and realized, like, whenever I ate meat, whenever I ate steak, ground beef, or ham or something like that, I never felt sick. And I'm just glad I finally realized that. And I, I did research on the carnivore diet beforehand, and I'm, I'm so glad that I went through with it. So, like I said before, even if you're healthy, even you, if you're sick, if you have any sort of illness or mental illness or whatever, try this diet. I think it can help. I know it can help. It helped me. It saved my life. And I'm so thankful. So, eat some more meat, eat some more eggs, eat some fish. Eat butter, if you can handle that. Drink raw milk. Eat some more bacon. It's pretty good. Pretty enjoyable. I haven't gotten sick of anything yet. I eat steaks every day. Ground beef, ground chuck, stuff like that. And it's just always delicious. So... Yeah, that's how I healed my chronic illnesses with the carnivore diet. Stay tuned. GERD, also known as gastroesophageal reflux disease or chronic acid reflux, is a condition in which acid-containing contents in your stomach persistently leak back up into your esophagus, the tube connecting your throat and your stomach. LPR, also known as silent reflux occurs when the muscle at the end of the esophagus does not close properly. This allows stomach contents to leak back or reflux into the throat and cause irritation. <clears throat> Gastritis is an inflammation of the stomach lining, weakness or injury to the mucus line barrier that protects the stomach wall and allows digestive juices to damage and inflame the stomach lining. A number of diseases and conditions can increase the risk of gastritis, including inflammatory conditions like Crohn's disease. There is a lot of symptoms associated with GERD. You can get severe acid reflux nonstop that can last all day every day, severe heartburn, difficulty breathing, and asthma-like conditions. Uh, newer worsening of asthma conditions, difficulty swallowing or dysphagia, regurgitation of food, chronic nausea that can last pretty much all day, uh, persistent vomiting, loss of appetite, severe weight loss, severe anxiety, mental health issues as the gut plays an important role in mood, constant burping, severe gas and bloating, pain in the upper abdomen and the chest, sleeplessness, raspy voice and vocal hoarseness, chronic and persistent cough and sore throats, development of certain food intolerances, sour taste in the mouth, constant throat clearing, dental erosion, and the sensation of acid coming up into your throat like you got to vomit all the time. There's four stages of GERD. The first stage is mild. The second stage is moderate third stage is severe, and the fourth stage is cancer. My GERD got to stage three, and my quality of life was just gone. And I was pretty much just starving to death every single day. So I'm going to go over the four main reasons why the carnivore diet helped me. The first reason is the carnivore diet is the ultimate elimination diet. It's free from all allergens, especially from things like oxalates, phytoestrogens, lectins, phytates, and tannins, which come from vegetables and carbs, and all cause inflammation, digestive issues, and prevent mineral absorption. The second reason is it indirectly helped me follow a more GERD-friendly diet, which is cutting out acidic foods, gluten, and hard-to-digest vegetables as all the fiber makes it even harder to digest because fiber 
cannot be absorbed by the human body because humans do not have the necessary bacteria. Third reason, it allowed me to cut out all food intolerances that I never knew I had until I started this diet. Things that caused gradual inflammation in my body over probably my entire life. Four, red meat has all the nutrients required by humans to survive and thrive. Eating only this way gave my body and digestion time to heal from all the acid damage I've been exposed to. This allowed me to incorporate more foods later on down the line that I previously couldn't tolerate before. After 10 months on the carnivore diet, I no longer have any more GERD flare-ups. I don't feel nauseous and bloated all the time, and I can actually work out super hard again and push myself in the gym without getting sick. I also don't experience many of the symptoms I've previously shown unless I cheat or eat something I'm sensitive to. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Peace.